In the USA, for the first time, the corpse of a deer infected with a zombie virus was caught. The so-called zombie disease has spread to more than 31 U.S. states. So, zombie deer are not a product of fiction or fantasy. And potentially, this virus could pose a threat to humans. So, what's happening? What is this virus and should we be panicking? It all stems from chronic wasting disease, CWD, affecting deer, elk, and other members of the deer family. CWD is caused by a type of protein called a prion, which can misfold and accumulate in the brain and nervous system of animals, causing irreversible damage and death. CWD was first identified in the 1960s in Colorado, and since then, it has been found in 30 states in the USA, four provinces in Canada, as well as in Norway, Finland, Sweden, and South Korea. Moreover, CWD is highly contagious and can be transmitted through direct contact, biological fluids, feces, and environmental contamination. There is no cure vaccine or way to test live animals for CWD. After infection, animals can survive for months or years without showing any symptoms until signs of wasting, such as weight loss, behavioral changes, lack of coordination, drooling, and aggression begin to manifest. While there is currently no evidence that CWD can infect humans, some scientists warn that it is possible and that we should not underestimate the potential risk. Prions are infamous for their ability to overcome species barriers and cause new diseases. For example, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or mad cow disease, is a prion disease that originated in cattle and transmitted to humans, causing a fatal condition known as variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Similarly, scrapie, a prion disease affecting sheep, is believed to have led to kuru, a human disease transmitted through cannibalism among the four people in Papua New Guinea. Could CWD become the next prion disease to afflict humans? Some experts believe it's only a matter of time. Dr. Michael Osterholm, director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota, stated before the U.S. Congress in 2019 that CWD poses a real and present danger and could potentially trigger a zombie apocalypse if it infects humans. He cited a study showing that CWD could infect human cells in laboratory conditions and that some monkeys fed CWD-infected meat developed the disease. Other researchers are more cautious but still call for vigilance and caution. Dr. Neil Cashman, a neurology professor at the University of British Columbia, said that CWD is a slow-motion bomb and we need to closely monitor the situation and prevent further infection. He recommended that hunters avoid consuming tissues of deer and elk known to harbor CWD, such as the brain, spinal cord, eyes, spleen, tonsils, and lymph nodes, and also wear gloves and use appropriate tools when handling carcasses. But is that enough? How can we stop the spread of CWD among wild animals and protect ourselves from a potential zombie virus? Some strategies include culling infected animals, testing and disposing of carcasses, imposing restrictions on the movement and feeding of deer, as well as developing new methods for detection and prevention. However, these measures are costly, controversial, and challenging to implement, especially considering the lack of public awareness and political will. The truth is we don't know what the future holds for CWD and its potential impact on human health. We don't know how likely it is for CWD to jump to humans and what the consequences would be if it does. There is much we don't know. So, the next time you see a deer in the woods, think twice before approaching it. It could be a zombie deer. And you could be its next victim.